Hello and welcome to Big Sky Cards. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana. Um, if you would like any of the details today, check out the link below. I will give you all the everything that I use to make this card along with my website and my Facebook page and everything that you could hopefully need. Um, but welcome. Um, please check out my website, BigSkyCards.com, um, and, and always, always email me any questions you have. My email is BigSkyCardsNicole at gmail.com, and I'd be glad to answer any. And if you are looking for a demonstrator, I would be happy to help you. All right, so tonight I have brought you this technique of using these these masks made by Stamping Up they are six dollars and they're so so easy this was such a quick and easy card to make design the whole works all right so the first thing we start off is with these masks but before I do that let me show you the pack of masks that you get from Stamping Up it consists of this motif that we're going to use some beautiful trees. I mean, there just isn't ever enough tree designs. Polka dots, which I'm quite excited because there is no longer any polka dot um, embossing folders, and I use a lot of polka dots, it seems like, as a texture for my cards. And this kind of feather leaf design. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and start our card. You are going to start with a piece of basic white cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. And if at any point I don't mention the the dimensions at some point, don't worry. I have included those in the link below, so just check them out. Um, I have just grabbed a piece of paper so I don't mess up my uh, my workstation here. Because if I do that often, I will get them messy. I mean, grant you this this will clean off, but I did not. I don't have any wet wipes or anything with me right this second. So, and then I'll mess up the rest of my card because that's how it is. All right. So all I've done is taken my basic white piece of cardstock, put my mask on top, and use some washi tape that I just have lying around that I don't use. And that is all there is to it. Next thing I do is take some crushed curry and all right and I grab a brush. Stamping Up has just come out with these brushes. I knock off some of the extra ink and just just rub it in. This is so easy. So, so easy. And these brushes, I'm, I'm not kidding. You can use the sponges, but these are even quicker. So much quicker. I think I want a little bit much more crushed curry after peaking. Because it's like sponging. It just doesn't come out as thick or dark as an ink, as you can see below. All right. All right, I'm gonna set those aside. Quite happy with that. Put that away, and then I'm gonna pull out my Bermuda Bay. And all I'm gonna do with my washi tape is move it down to the other end to hold my mask in place just in case there's any slippage. And then I'm going to ink up my brush and bring that in. And then I am going to do a little bit of overlap on the crushed curry. It just, it just made a beautiful green on the card. I just love it, that blended color. All right, 
right, so if I look under here, ooh, that's really, really nice. Oops, everything moves, see? See, even, even though I taped it down, things still moved on me. But yeah, washi tape will help hold it down or post-its will, will do the job. I'm going to put a little bit more ink on, knock it off. See, this is the only frustrating bit. It's when, you, when it moves on you. All right. got a nice beautiful beautiful dark coloring and I'll just set that aside and I will just wipe that off you can use a wet wipe to clean those off throw it under the sink whatever all right so from there oh I will need that um, I went ahead and used uh, the phrase best wishes and that comes from a really great versatile set called, oh, Arrange a Wreath. Okay, so on this Arrange a Wreath, they've got the phrase, best wishes. And so I'm going to get my stamping, my stamping mat, and my Memento Black Ink. And... my best wishes right there perfect and although many of you cannot tell my card has a bit of shimmer so I took my shimmer spray and I've just put it in a little spritz bottle like this and I took my sh oh what is it called It's the white frost shimmer paint. I put it in the sh the shimmer bot or just a spritzer with some alcohol. Um, you just need a small droplet. You mix it up, shake it, shake it really good, and that's all you need. What you do want to be very careful is make sure that you have. A piece of paper underneath when you spray because guess what when you spray it can go all over and I don't want water everywhere so I'm just gonna hold hold my spritzer back and give it kind of two little spritz and then I'm going to set it aside to dry if I need to I will pull out my my heat gun and while that dries I will go ahead and stamp and punch my butterfly so I have my butterfly punch the double butterfly punch which is called is the butterfly duet punch and then I am going to use the coordinating stamps, which come from the Butterfly Gala. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this in Bermuda Bay on my card. Take a stamping pad, give it a nice firm stamp, set my stamp aside to be cleaned, and put that aside, then just come in and line that up. 
All right. So also with the Butterfly Gala, there are punches that coordinate with the small butterfly and the large butterfly. I mean, a, I believe a necessity is to have a very good, to have a good butterfly punch and a great butterfly die, um, along with a heart and a flower. Those are like basic necessities to making amazing cards. All right, so I'm just going to crinkle those edges so he'll appear a little bit popped up. And then I'm going to take a piece of basic white cardstock, fold it in half, give it a good solid burnish with my bone folder. It, this is standard piece of, of size paper that is eight and a half by five and a half. And then I'm going to take a look and just to be extra, extra safe. I am going to take my heat gun, dry it off. Okay. And as you can see, I tried recording earlier and I didn't push the record button. I'm going to take my pop dots and pop this card out. really really hope that the larger pop dots show up soon because I'm tired of these teeny teeny tiny ones but needs must Like I dropped one right there. Oh. Did drop it because the adhesive stayed on front and back. All right, let me swipe those aside. And do that. Get up. Get my multi-purpose glue, a little bit of Tombow. All right, and there you have it. Let's see if I can get, you can see that shimmer. Can't, I always hate this but I just can't get it to shimmer for you guys. I wonder if I pull up my light. You can see. Anyways, I mean, this is like making it into shimmer paper. There's just shimmer all over. It's so beautiful. I am so sorry that on a camera, you just can't, can't see it. So, like I said, very quick, very easy card. Um, heck, the hardest part is like picking out the colors, the color scheme. Um, so there is that. Let me also remind you, during the month of February, it is Stamping Up Celebration, and you can receive free items if you spend $50 or more. On, and please go to my online website, and use the hostess code provided if you don't spend $150. But if you spend $150 or more, don't use that because then you get free items from Stamping Up as well, additional free items. Also, if you spend $30 or more on my online website, you can either get this card from me free, or we'll send this as a card kit for you to make, or this card for you free and you can let me know which one you would like just shoot me a line or I'll, I'll email you 
to determine what you would like. Um, but give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down on this video. Um, and again, I would so, so, so much appreciate your business. Thank you and have a good day.